I'll see you in the next one. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant in the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. And then, he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Wait, haven't I? Anyway, Rondi's place just brings back memories. <laughs> Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. Squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. The kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. The 
kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He finds the distillery. Right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Get 
takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core Kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Somersault like crazy. Last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right, except no one else showed up. Ain't always much to say. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Life wine so rich, they say it's brought men back from the brink for one last taste. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. <laughs> <laughs> 